sensitive. They behave, that's a sensitive nipple there. Alright, give me clean family to watch this. This is on, uh... Alright, let me see some teeth. I got teeth. Alright, I got teeth. Venus Nitzel. Okay, give me a slow exposure, okay, so don't move. Come on up. Just hold still, all right? Just smile, right? Here we go. Good. All black. Good. All right, cool, man. Excellent. Train horn 22. That's it. Good job, man. Thanks. Hill kind of this baby, ready? Now these are some pretty beautiful locomotives here. Mike, can you tell us about these models and why you chose to model these? These are all, all Atlas models. This right here, I just love how the chassis got dirty. Real dirty. And it was originally gonna be a to Tokor Toledo Iron Ore co uh, locomotive, but I stopped from patching it just because I wanna keep it B&O and keep it nasty. And the Central Vermont's I actually spent about a year and a half out in Vermont. Beautiful country, beautiful people. Plus I love the Chicken Valley paint scheme. And so I just hammered both of them. All of, all, all of them are done with oils. No airbrushing and some you powder. You didn't use an airbrush on either one of these, all these models. That's no. amazing. These guys, I thought about keeping them young, but being a weatherer and loving rust, I just couldn't. So the more rust, the better. And I might have gone a little overboard on the roofs and along the, these lines right here, but that's the fun thing about modeling, about weathering, it's your about, world. Uh, tell us about the chassis system locomotive. Chassis, like I said earlier, that was gonna be a Torcor unit. And uh, I worked from a photograph of this one, try to match it the best I could. And uh, I think, again, I took a little a little liberty to make it a little more grody and uh, I like I said I failed to put the patch on it and the marker lights but that's maybe a future project and again this one was done with this nothing but oils and I believe just a little dusting of black powder up top 
Other than that, all oil paints with a brush and a foam makeup wedge, which is the best tool a modeler could ever have. Mike, the white pull downs on this car looks absolutely spectacular. How did you achieve that effect? Everything on this car was done with artist oils, except for the white streaking itself. And how I did that is I purchased some Tamiya weathering chalk. And it comes in a pack of three. And what I did is I just smeared down exactly in that motion. And then if it wandered over where I did not want it, I got a Q-tip, wetted it ever slightly, and just pulled down to even it up. Sprayed it with dull coat. Then after the dull coat dried, I repeated the process exactly as I explained, dull coated it, and done. That's how I do research.
ังเลยwhich is going to be embedded in the module itself and it's going to sit right behind each exhaust stack on this engine. Thanks, it's got weird. I'm just going to stand back and watch. I'm going to snap the photo. You recording? Yeah. Good. You're getting us wide? Yeah. Good. Have fun, boys. Yeah. Okay. You got to do it again. I need yeah, to do it again. Can you put some tires Wait, in Wait, Glenn, cigarette? you got like, you, you over here for Marvel 1000. Go and get some of the walking trucks. We need some tires. We need black or smoke. Yeah, we need more of a pure cigarette. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I love being a director. Okay. And action. <laughs> I'll hold that. Ooh. You
Hollywood. That's perfect. That's like it's done again. Good job, Kel. Just like he's opening up on the throttle. Hill. Right there. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Trainmasters TV, only from Model Railroad Hobbyist Magazine.